Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do the real review for the Google Pixel Fold. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one is 1800 bucks. All right, so let's get right into it. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. White shoes. I love my white shoes. Calm down. Okay. Google Pixel Fold. Now on a side note, this is not a sponsored video and I haven't watched anybody else's video yet because I don't wanna have a biased opinion. I'm gonna give y'all my personal opinion after using this phone as my main phone for two weeks straight. So let me start off by answering a couple of questions that everybody been asking me all week. Number one, how is the durability of this phone? And I'll answer it like this. I'm getting the same satisfaction, okay? The same durability on this phone that I get on my Galaxy Z Fold and my Vivo Fold, okay? No durability issues at all. Now, I know some of y'all like to watch the extreme durability test and the drop test and the burn test and all of that and the bend test, but in the real world, you're not gonna treat your phone like that. You gotta remember, you just spent $1,800 on a phone you gotta treat it accordingly. It's the same way if you go to Louis Vuitton and you buy some Louis Vuitton shoes, you're gonna wear them to the wedding, you're gonna wear them at the dinner, you're gonna wear them on the date, and when you get home, you're gonna take them off, you're gonna clean them, polish them up a little bit, put them back in the bag, and keep it moving. You're not gonna take some $2,000 shoes and go to the park and play basketball. Same thing with this phone, okay? If you're a construction worker or a fireman, police officer, you work for EMS, you're a pool cleaner, you're not gonna wanna buy this phone, okay? This is a phone that you're gonna have to treat like an $1,800 phone. And if you do that, you're not gonna have any issues. Now me, I'm kinda heavy handed and I treat my phones a little bit harder than the average person. Especially I like to do this for some reason. I like to fold it up hard like that. I shoes don't flinch. I like to do that. And when I get in my car, I like to throw it in the car under, under the uh, passenger seat, throw it on the dashboard. I haven't had any issues with the durability at all. So for me, I'm gonna say this is a very durable foldable device. Next question, is this my favorite foldable device? And it's crazy, this is why I like to wait before I do my full review, because the first three days of using it, I was like, nah, this is my new favorite fold. I love the outer display. But then after using it for about an extra couple of days after that, maybe a week, going on two weeks, I found myself missing my favorite foldable device, the Vivo X Fold 2. I like this one better, okay? I like the form factor on this one better. You're still getting a big outer display, and when you unfold it, you're getting an even bigger inner display. This one just feels more like a tablet. This one kind of feels more like an e-reader. And the Galaxy Fold, I hate this outer display. Okay, I just hate it, but pound for pound, Pound for pound, this is still the best foldable device. When it comes to features, you got the Samsung DeX, you got S Pen support, all right? This is still my best foldable, best foldable device, my favorite foldable device, and I would say this is my second favorite foldable device. Now, with that being said, let's talk about everything that I don't like first. Now, I'm gonna try to make this as quick as I can, but y'all know, <laughs> okay? Grab your popcorn and your thought juice and get comfortable. First, we gotta talk about the elephant in the room. The price, 1,800 bucks. Now, rest in peace to my moms. I gotta pull out my mom's old school voice. Google, if you don't change that fucking price. All right, remember back in the days when you went in that toy store and you grabbed a whole bunch of toys and your mom sent you with that voice? If you don't put that back on the shelf, Google, this fucking price, all right? If y'all don't fix this fucking price, 1800 bucks, that's TGH, all right? Too goddamn high. This phone should have been 1400 bucks, 1500 at max. And I think Google knows that, okay? That's why when you pre-ordered from Google, they threw in the Pixel Watch. Now this is valued at around 300 bucks. So subtract that, you're getting, you're getting 1500 bucks. 1800 bucks, that's too much, especially when you consider the presentation. Trash, okay? No charge in the box, no case, no earbuds, nothing. Just the phone itself, 1800 bucks is too much. 
Now, Samsung was able to get away with that. Y'all remember with the first Galaxy Fold for 2,000 bucks? They was able to get away with that because there was no other foldable devices. So if you wanna be uh, in the foldable game, you gotta pay to play. But nowadays, y'all see me review the Honor Fold, Techno got a fold, everybody got a foldable device out. This is not new technology. So you shouldn't be paying new technology prices. 1800 bucks is too much. And there's a couple of reasons why I say it's too much also, not only because of the lackluster presentation. Basically, this is a Pixel 7a that folds. Same camera, same processor. So why can you pay 400 bucks and get this one and have the same processor, same camera, but you gotta drop 1800 bucks just for it to unfold? Nah, nah, I do not like that at all. So the price, that's TGH. If you really like this phone, I suggest you wait because the price is definitely gonna drop. Okay, it's definitely gonna drop. Next, the Tensor G2. Now this is another gripe with Google. I think they should have waited and came out with the Tensor G3. If you're gonna charge me 1800 bucks, I need to have flagship specs. The Tensor G2, yeah, it's a flagship processor per se, but it's really not when you could find the same processor for 400 bucks. Not to mention, the Tensor G2 has an overheating issue. Now, a lot of people have been asking me to check this out, and usually when people ask me to test something out, I test it out, but I didn't even have to do that. I had an, I had an overheating issue the other night without even using the phone. Now, usually when you get overheating, you're streaming YouTube videos, streaming Netflix, playing video games. I had the phone in my pocket. I'm stuck in traffic, driving to Manhattan. You know, if you ever use your phone, especially um, iPhone users, y'all know, if you use the double tap on the back, double tap to activate your flashlight, a lot of times you'll turn on your flashlight by accident, put your phone in your pocket, and you won't even notice until you feel a little heat on your leg, and then you're like, oh, hold on a second, why is my phone so hot? Is something running, and then you, Pull your phone out your pocket and you got the flashlight on. So I thought maybe I had the flashlight on in my pocket, took it out, no flashlight, the phone's not even on, it's powered on, but there's nothing running. The phone is just extra hot in my pocket, extra hot. And that happened a couple of times. Now I go on the forums, take it over to Reddit, see if anybody else is having the same issue. And a lot of people having the same issue, overheating. Now it hasn't overheated to the point where the phone turned off, but it just gets extra hot. And for 1800 bucks, that's unacceptable. Now you're gonna hear me say 1800 bucks a lot in this video, because really, that's the biggest thing I don't like about this phone. If it would've been 1200 bucks, I would let a lot of other shit fly, but for 1800 bucks, I gotta be nitpicky. And I know some of y'all hate when I be nitpicky, but this is not a sponsored video, okay? I spent my own money on this. When you spend $1,800 on something, you're allowed to nitpick that product. So let me, you know, y'all gotta cut me some slack. This is coming right out of my pocket, and these I, I, I gotta give you my honest opinion of things I don't like. I don't like phones that get hot in my pocket. I don't like that. Next. Now, this would be my biggest dislike about this phone, the battery. I would say the battery on this phone is semi-trash. Now, y'all remember when I did the Pixel 7 video and I had to go into a whole soliloquy of what I mean by semi-trash? I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna give y'all a quick reference, okay? All y'all cats who used to watch Seinfeld, Remember when George ate that he clear out the garbage? That was semi-trash. If you got a garbage can, uh, you, you, sit, you, you had a little house party, and you're watching somebody eat a donut, maybe your sister, and she takes one bite and I don't like this, and puts it in the garbage and close the garbage, and you quickly run over and open it up. Maybe that was the last chocolate donut. You open it up real quick and take it out. You see she took one bite from this side. You say, you know what, this is my sister, and it's only at the top of the garbage. That's semi-trash. I, I, I might as well go ahead and eat this and you might eat it. That's semi-trash, okay? It's not fully trash, semi-trash. The battery on this is semi-trash. Now look, if you wanna get this battery to last you all day, you can. Turn down the brightness, turn off always on display, turn the refresh rate down. There's a lot of things you could do to make this battery last a full eight hour work shift. But if you like me and you drop 1800 bucks, you're gonna wanna have your display on max brightness to get maximum knitage. You're gonna want all your push notifications on. If you have you on social media, you're gonna be on social media all day long. Your battery on this phone is not gonna last you a full eight hours. Now for me, it lasts me around four to five hours. This is a phone that I have to, I have to charge once a day in the middle of the day. Now, I got a lot of other phones like this one. I can use this from morning to night. 
This I can use from morning to night. The iPhone, you already know. Shout out to the Apple Mafia. Y'all know I like busting y'all chops, but the battery on this is God tier. Battery on this right here, <laughs> it, it, I don't like it, okay? I don't like it. Now, I, I did want to wait because, you know, same thing I had with the Pixel phones, the 7 and the 6. When you first take it out the box, the battery is going to be complete garbage, complete garbage. But you got to use it for a couple of days, maybe three, four, five days. Let the adaptive battery kick in. Let the phone learn your, you know, learn your usage habits. And it does get better. And this one actually did get better, but it's still, it's still semi-trash. And to have a semi-trash battery with 30 watt fast charge for 1800 bucks is unacceptable. In this day and age, okay, you got phones like this. I, now this is one of my favorite phones, the Xiaomi 13. You see the camera module on it. You got phones like this that have a bigger battery that will charge from zero to 100% in 23 minutes. In 2023, you shouldn't have to wait an hour to fully charge up your phone. Okay, that's that, 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 that's just that's just whack. All right, that's just whack. Let's call it what it is, it's whack. Slow charging speeds and the battery itself is semi-trash. Okay, I don't like that. Next, here's something I don't like, the face unlock. Now, of course, I'm, I'm sitting down here right now in the optimal, optimal conditions. It's super bright. I'm right here, I'm right back here. There's no no distractions, no distortions. Look at this one, look how fast this one is too. Nothing blocking the camera, so it's gonna work good. But the face unlock on this, as soon as I get outside and it starts to get dark or I, I get into a different environment, the face unlock is garbage on this. I mean, I said this on my Pixel 7 video. Google, whoever's working in your biometrics department, y'all need to call up Xi Jinping and ask them who does the face unlock I for the Xiaomi and the Oppo and the Realme and the Redmi phones. The face unlock on this, hit me up in the comments, I know. Now look, if you're a real Google cheerleader, you're gonna say, oh, my face unlock works all the time. But if you keep it real with yourself, hit me up in the comments and let me know at nighttime. At nighttime, does your face unlock still work flawlessly? Mine's doesn't, okay? And a lot of times when I go outside at night, the face unlock doesn't work at all. You shouldn't have to pick up your phone and stare at it and, and wait for that camera. No, you shouldn't have to do that. When you're picking up your phone, it should be unlocking on the way up. Like on the way to your face, it should be unlocking. So the face unlock, I'm not a big fan of. Now the fingerprint sensor, flawless. All right, flawless, flawless victory. Next, let's talk about the actual build quality. Now here's something that I, I didn't even notice at first until somebody asked me to check it. It doesn't really open all the way flat. Okay, it, it kind of has, like, it, it kind of feels like a book. It, it, it wants to stay like a book. Now, for me, when I first started using the phone, the first couple of days, I was just so hype. I didn't really notice it too much until somebody said, oh, you know, it doesn't really open up too flat. Check that out. I said, you know what? Let me check that out. And they write. And it's the same thing. It's like, <laughs> it's like you ever, you ever with your car, right? Say you get a new car and you're babying it. You're washing it. You're parking it a little bit further from the curb so you don't scratch the wheels. And then all of a sudden you come outside and somebody hit a shopping cart or somebody parked too close behind you and you got a little scratch in the back. Once you see that scratch, you can't unsee it. Now, when anybody else will see your car, they're going to be like, oh, that car looks hot. They're not even going to notice the scratch. But you, once you've seen it, you can't unsee it. Once you feel this, that it doesn't all the way open up flat, it, you're never gonna unfeel that feeling. Now look, when I'll show you for a perfect example, with my favorite fold, when this opens, it's completely flat and it has that sound that lets you know that it locks into place. It just feels ultra flat. This one, you see even on the table, it kind of feels like a book, which in some ways, I notice a lot, I've been using the phone like this sometimes, you know, especially when I'm getting my scumbag scrolls on Instagram, I don't want everybody looking at me. I've been going like this sometimes, but I just wish it would have been completely flat, completely flat and had that sound, like a nice little locking sound into place. Okay, I don't like that, okay? It is what it is. Next, now this brings me back to the Galaxy. No stylus support. When you got a foldable device, Half of using it is gonna be like this, okay? It's gonna, it's gonna kinda of feel like using a tablet. And if you like me, when you use your tablet, you like to use a stylus. Now, this ain't as big as a tablet, 
but it would have been just nice to have a little stylus, maybe to put a little magnetic strip on the side so you can magnetize a little stylus and take full advantage of tablet mode. That's half of the reason why you're buying a Fold to use it like this, no stylus support. I don't like that. Next, customization. Now this is one of the things that I hate about Pixel phones, which there's an easy fix. You can download custom launches, but if you're buying this phone, you probably want the stock, kind of stockish Android experience. You can't move the Google bar, okay? You can't customize the always on display. I don't like that, it's just lack of customization. Now when you use phones, now you're gonna see me pull out a lot of other phones. When you see me, when you use a phone like this, all right, the Vivo X Fold 2, customizations up the wazoo. Same thing with the Galaxy. Now the Galaxy, this one has a feature that none of these other foldable devices have. You can change your outer display and change your inner display. So I can have a different app set up. You see I got Facebook and Messenger right here. Say I move to Facebook, right? Let's just, um, you see I put Messenger first now. Let's do, let's, let's do that again. Okay, so now I got Messenger first. When I go to my outer display, you see, now I got Messenger first, but if I want to, I can just, let's, 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 let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna uninstall, no, not uninstall. I'm gonna delete this. Okay, we hit remove. Now, instead of Messenger, I'm gonna put Amazon Music. Okay, so now I got Facebook and Amazon Music on my outer display. Then when I go to my inner display, I still got my original setup. That's what you call customization. Now, so far out of all the foldable devices I have, the uh, Galaxy is the only one that could do that. This one, if I remove Facebook, once you open up the inside, Facebook is gonna be re removed also. Whatever my home pages are, they're gonna be the same on the inner and outer display. That's not the biggest deal in the world, but when I mean customization, I would like to have a different always on display. Now I know somebody's gonna say, oh, Android 14, okay, they're gonna let you customize the always on display. I can't, I can't review stuff for the future. I gotta review it now, okay? I spent 1800 bucks, this is what I got now. And right now, I can't change my always on display. And my biggest thing, I just hate not being able to change my Google bar. I like it better on the top, okay? I don't need it on every page. I don't like that, okay? But again, if you want, download Nova Launcher, solve that problem. Next, now y'all know, they call me Petty Roosevelt, so I gotta talk about a few petty gripes. Color choices. You only got obsidian and porcelain. Now for 1800 bucks, I would like to see, and this goes for any cell phone that's out, four colors minimum. All right, when you're buying a new phone, you should have four color choices. Something neutral like black or white, but then something exciting, red green, blue, orange, okay? Give me more than two colors. Next, no pro mode on the camera. Again, 1800 bucks, same camera from the Pixel 7a, but no pro mode. Now I will say this, the camera on this phone is amazing. I, the Google processing software is the top of the food chain, but if you're a real photographer and you wanna change your shutter speed, you wanna change your white balance, there's no real pro mode. Okay, so I would like to see Pixel integrate a pro mode into its already amazing camera setup. Next, no one terabyte version for 1800 bucks. One terabyte should be the starting storage size. I'm not even gonna complain about no expandable memory, no one terabyte. For 1800 bucks, I should be walking around with a one terabyte phone. And lastly, okay, lastly, this brings me back to why I think the Galaxy is still the best fold. Dex, they need to have a Dex-like feature. Okay, a feature where you just sit next to your monitor and wirelessly peer your phone up to a monitor and get a full laptop or desktop experience. Right now, Samsung is killing the game with that. And again, pound for pound, I would say the Z Galaxy Z Fold 4 is the all around best foldable device. I just can't get with this narrow out of display. That's why this is still my favorite. Okay, this is gonna be my favorite fold. Then after that, I do love this one, don't get me wrong now. Look, I've been talking about everything that I don't like. Now let's talk about everything that I do like. I, before I do that, let me say this. After using this phone for two weeks straight, after letting the battery kick in, after fully getting used to it, I love it. If I would have paid 1500 bucks for this phone, I wouldn't complain at all. And here's the thing, I, you, you gotta give Google their flowers when they deserve them. 
they gave me 800 bucks for my Galaxy Z Fold 3. And for that 1800 bucks, so really that's a thousand. Plus they gave me the Pixel Watch, even I already had one. I could probably sell that to somebody for 200 bucks. So really I'm saving 1200 bucks. I can't really complain too much. But what if you don't got a Pixel, I mean a, a Galaxy Fold to trade in, or you don't got a, fold, a, a phone to trade in that's gonna get you 800 bucks, you're gonna spend top dollar. So for me, all of my gripes, it's kind of offset because of the fact that I did save 800 bucks. I do got a free watch. And after using the phone, I love the form factor of this. I the, my, my ideal phone would be, let's talk about that real quick. Imagine this phone with the Pixel software. Oh, let me say this too. A lot of people was like, okay, I reviewed the Oppo N2 Flip. Oh, actually the N2 Fold. And a lot of people was like, oh, I said I didn't like that one. How come, I, how come I didn't like that one and I like the Pixel? It's not just because of the form factor, it's the software. The software can make or break a phone. I don't care how good the hardware is, if the software is trash, you're not gonna like it. And that's the same thing with the Oppo. I'm not saying the software was trash, it just I, it just wasn't my cup of tea. Like it wasn't, it, it's good, but it didn't really bring me in like the Pixel software. I love this stock Android, stockish, let me not say completely stock, stockish Android experience. Everything is smooth, the animations, but on this form factor, it really works. Okay, it really works. Now, let's talk about everything that I do like right after this quick commercial break. All right, so now let's talk about everything that I do like. Number one, the build quality. This phone feels so good in the hands, ladies, you know the procedures. One of my biggest gripes about the Pixel 7 series was that glossy back. Now you got the frosted back, so no fingerprints, okay? It's IPX8, water resistant, no gap at all, and is the perfect, and I mean the perfect dimensions as far as the width and the height. This is the perfect foldable device to hold in your hand and enjoy this one hand operation. Now I put too many passwords in, let's do that again. Perfect, perfect foldable device for one hand action. Now, like I said earlier, if you're worried about durability, don't. As long as you use this as a regular phone, okay? Don't throw it off the roof. Don't run over it with your car. You're not gonna have any issues. I haven't used the case on this phone at all. If you notice, I don't got any scratches on the display, any scratches around the sides. It still looks brand new. Okay, so the build quality on this is epic. Next, here's my favorite feature of this phone. The outer display. Okay, now, I, I know I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but Samsung, they dropped the ball with the Z Fold 5. Okay, I already seen some, some behind the scenes uh, information about that. It's gonna be narrow just like this. I'm already not gonna like that. This is one of the first foldable devices besides the Oppo, and the Oppo, I can't even really say that because I didn't use it long enough. This is, I'm gonna, a matter of fact, let me change that. This is the first foldable device that I've used all day long, comfortably, comfortably, without unfolding it. Now that's saying a lot. Even this fold, okay, now it's not that narrow, but still, sometimes I find myself unfolding it just to get a better experience. This foldable device right here, okay, now, personally, I wish it was a little taller, but hey, it is what it is, but the width, the width of this phone is perfect. Perfect. Uh, you can do everything on the outer display. You can even do some split screen multitasking if you want to, but you won't need to. But for the stuff that I like, Instagram, perfect. Okay, damn. <laughs> this is the perfect outer display. And I noticed, y'all remember when I first did the unboxing, the RAM management wasn't really uh, kicked in yet? Watch this. You see, now when I open it, I'm at the same thing I was looking at it. Okay, the same picture. So say I'm scrolling and I say, okay, hold on a second. When I close up the device and I open it back up, I'm still on that same photo. I like that. <laughs> okay, I like that. Y'all remember, it kept on resetting. It took a while for the RAM management to kick in, but once it kicked in, it works. This outer display right here, you're gonna rock this all the time. Okay, so the outer display is super epic. Now, again, I, I, I really just hate the volume underneath the power button, but it works on this phone. On this phone, it doesn't work for me. I'd rather have the power button, okay, and then the power button high up, not too high, 
but sometimes I notice I keep hitting the uh, volume rocker by accident. But with this fold, the fingerprint sensor is amazing. Okay, so Google, you might even have to do this on the Pixel 8. Do the same kind of fingerprint sensor like this on the Pixel 8 because everybody knows the Pixel biometrics ain't the best. Same thing with this one. You do have always on display, okay, time, date, battery percentage, notifications. Now, when I pick up the device and look at it, you see, it says can't recognize face. There it is. Again, if I'm sitting in the optimal conditions, it should work every time. Face unlock, not the best. Fingerprint sensor on point. Next, Tensor G2. Let's check the web browsing speeds. Okay, let me just set this up real quick. Go to apple.com. Okay. Excellent scrolling speeds. And again, this is a fold, so you're going to want to unfold it and take advantage of the full screen. Look at that. Now, if I want to, we could do a little split screen multitasking. And here's another thing that I love about this. Watch this. Okay, so let's do, um, matter of fact, let's do Twitter. Let's open this up. <laughs> what am I doing? All right, let's open this up. Let's do, let's do messaging. Okay, so we do some split screen multitasking. Okay, double tap to switch. One of the best things about this phone is watch this. I can go on Instagram, okay? And I could do, I could, why do I keep doing that? <laughs> I could do Instagram on a split screen. Now, a lot of devices will not let you do that. And this is what I'm talking about. Switch it over like this. So say I'm um, having a little family show moment. I had the phone like this, and this way I could be getting my scroll on two different apps at the same time. Okay, but Instagram on the split screen, that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Okay, so the web browsing speeds are excellent. All right, so now let's test out the dual stereo speakers. Of course, I got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rubier. Yo, sound test, time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, time for sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? Speakers sound pretty good. I'm gonna cover up the bottom. This is just the top. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rubier. I got no complaints with the dual stereo speakers. All right, so now let's test out this beautiful AMOLED display. Now, of course, you can go full screen if you want. Look at this. You do have some bezels. The viewing angles are pretty good. Of course, you're gonna see that crease. But when you're holding the phone straight like this, your eyes are gonna adapt to that crease really quick. But it looks beautiful. This is the reason you're buying a foldable device for this right here. Watching your videos just like this. Now if you want to, take it over to the outer display. Get some full screen action. Look at that. I was actually using the phone a lot like this. Watching videos chilling just like this. Look at those viewing angles. Perfect. Okay. But when I need to see more, open this up. We're going to go full screen and get even more. Bam. 
Look at that. I love it. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's do a little gaming. Of course, I got to ask for a 9 queued up. And you're going to love gaming on this bigger display. Check this out. Okay. Oh, look at that. Tensor G2. Other than the heat, I don't really have any issues with this chipset. Oh, you seen that? You seen that? Sorry, shoes. <laughs> Not skin shoes. Hold up. All right, let me get focused, y'all. Let me get focused. I did a 360 and made them wreck. Okay, no lag at all, though. Oh, two wheels. Okay. No hiccups. And there it is. Coming through like a boss. All right, so let me uh, turn this down for a minute. Okay. So gaming on your Pixel Fold, you're not going to have any problems. Everything is nice and smooth. All right, so now we got to talk about one of my favorite features, the camera. The camera on this phone is terrific. Now, even though I said it's the same camera from the Pixel 7a, the Pixel 7a has the best camera for an Android phone of this price. Let me tell you all a quick story. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, y'all know I like to go out to dinner. I'm an old school guy, so that's pretty much all I do now. But when I go to dinner and I like to take my little photos for my memories, I don't care what phone I got in my pocket, I always find myself using my iPhone. Now, shout out to the Apple Mafia. I talk shit about y'all all the time, but let's keep it real. The iPhone camera is probably my favorite other than the Galaxy, the Xiaomi 13, and everybody said the Sony camera is that good, I just hate Sony phones. So when I'm getting my memories, right, the memories that I wanna save to my collection, I really like to trust those pictures with an iPhone. So I go to dinner the other night, I'm testing out the Pixel, and like I said, I'm using it as my daily phone. So I gotta take my daily pictures. So I told Amaya, I said, look, take a photo of me using this Pixel. Here's how the photo came out. Badass. Now look, if y'all remember the uh, Pixel 7 presentation, one of the things the Pixel phone does good is take pictures of black people and make their skin don't look as black. Let me say that correctly. When you take a photo of a black person, their skin doesn't look as dark. Now, shout out to everybody else. I know y'all don't really have these issues, but I took this photo of Amaya using the Pixel and she loved it. Look at her skin. This is how her skin looks in real life. Now, as a black guy, a lot of pictures that we take tend to make us look darker than we really are. <laughs> it, it just happens like that. And the Pixel, when it came out with the 7, they was like, you know, this camera is good for people that have black skin or dark skin or brown skin, however you want to phrase it. Let me be politically correct. I, I, I'm going to say I'm going to say for black folks, all right? for black folks. We don't, be, we, we don't want to be looking like blackies all the time. All right? Sometimes we want people to see our golden brown skin. And the Pixel camera, look at this. This is from the Pixel Fold point and shoot. The camera on this phone, I love it, okay, I love it. Now, of course, seeing is believing, so I want y'all to take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself, but everything that you're gonna see right now is from the Pixel Fold point and shoot. No pro mode, no changing the settings, point and shoot. Okay, quick side note, let me put a bookend on that story. Amaya, I, my daughter is the number one Apple banana head cheerleader on the planet. If it's not Apple, she don't want nothing to do with it. So when we go out and I say, look, let me get a photo. She's always like, dad, put that phone away, pull out your iPhone. Whatever phone I got, she's like, nah, put that away, pull out your iPhone. After we did this test, okay, and I took this photo, she was like, what phone is this? I said, come on, I, you, you, you already seen the Pixel phones before. You've seen the Pixel phones plenty of times. You don't like those though. She was like, nah, but... Look at this one. I said, okay, cool. So we went out to dinner, okay, that was a Friday night. So then we went out Saturday night, all right, the very next night. When I went to take her photo, she said, Dad, put that away and pull out that phone. And I did, and here's another photo. The camera takes excellent photos. Now look at these test pictures and videos for yourself.
All right, so now let's do the RDA test. Regular daily activities. Now you just spent 1800 bucks on the phone. Let's see how it works in the real world. Now on a side note, the whole point of me doing this part of the video is so you can see how the phone works doing regular daily activities without editing. Okay, because if I edit a video, I can make you think this is the smoothest, fastest phone in the world. But I wanna do this straight with no editing so you can see how it's gonna work in the real world. Now this phone does have wireless charge, so you might as well get yourself a nice wireless charger and let your phone charge up overnight like this. Now when I wake up in the morning, all I gotta do is look at the phone. I can see the time, the date, the weather, and my notifications. Now when I pick up the device, pick it up and look at it, there's the face unlock. Now, one of my gripes was the face unlock is not that great, and when I wake up in my room and it's dark in the morning, sometimes the face unlock doesn't work. So I'd have to wake up and go like this. Just hit the finger. Fingerprint sensor works 100% of the time. Now, the first thing I like to do, swipe over, take it over to Google. This is how I get all my news. Okay, so I'm going to get a fresh refresh, and we're going to see what's going down in the world of Street Fighter Six and the tech community. Okay, so the Nothing Phone 2. And also, part of, my, part of this video is me giving y'all a little rant and a little uh, vlog. Okay, the Nothing Phone 2. Now, I'm glad I didn't rush to review this one because they just dropped a major update for the cameras. So, I'm reviewing that phone later this week. I love that phone too. Okay, Mortal Kombat 1. We got some new uh, PS5 gameplay. Okay. Okay, grab the OnePlus Nord N30 for just $20. Now, I reviewed this phone. This is a great budget phone. And I said in that video, OnePlus, stick to making budget phones. Because that's where y'all shine at. Okay, so we got to find some new weather apps now that beautiful widgets don't work anymore. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got the Vivo X100 Pro. We get a 200 megapixel periscope sensor with 10 times optical zoom. You see what I'm saying, Google? Look at this. This is what y'all need to be doing. All right, stepping the camera game up, stepping everything up. Dogman trailer, okay, new movie trailers. I got to remind myself to go watch those later. Dark Legion trailer, new trailers, okay. Let's see, anything else we need to see here? Amazon Prime Day, Ray-Ban glasses, okay. Okay, now this, the game grid. Bro, now I reviewed this the other day. I got, there's a little, I gotta tell y'all more story behind this video because this was just a random impulse buy. But when I did the video for this, a lot of y'all was talking shit about me playing Super Mario Brothers. So look, I'm gonna make another video Okay, playing Super Mario Brothers from start to finish because I didn't appreciate how y'all was popping shit about my video game skills I haven't played the game in 30 years. I can now maybe okay. Maybe maybe five years I played a little bit with my girl here and there, but we're gonna get back to some um, old school gaming All right, let me get him like that cuz I like that flossy card dude. Okay, so we got Oppo coming out with some new shit Anyway, now this is how your Google's gonna look keep in mind. You haven't even unfolded the phone yet And you're not gonna need to this is what I love about this form factor I can, I can fully enjoy Google. Just now, as I'm making this, I forgot that this is a foldable device. I'm just chilling like it's my regular phone. And you're gonna, you're gonna have that same experience. You're gonna forget this phone unfolds because it's not super heavy. So when you're using it like this, you gotta remember at any point, you could pop it open and rock out like this. Now I'm getting two stories at the same time. Instead of just scrolling and getting one side of stories, now I'm getting all my stories. Okay, so now we can see exactly what's going on. Okay, Huawei, I was about to say Hawaii. Hey, Huawei got some shit coming out. Anyway, so that's how your Google homepage is gonna look. Next, I like to take it over to the weather. Okay, now it's boiling hot down here. Okay, 87 degrees, I got my air conditioner off. There's a little fly in here, me and Shoes. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see her, but me and Shoes, we both stalking the same fly. We're gonna get her at some point. 87 degrees, exit out of that. Next, let's do a little work. Okay, let's go to uh, social. Okay, check some emails. So here's how it's gonna look. Okay, what about the Doogee you reviewed? I want something durable. All right, Joey Ramirez, the Doogee phone. That's what I meant to say at the beginning of this video. If you're looking for something like a Doogee phone or the, uh, the Motorola Think phone, something that you know for a fact, you're gonna drop off a ladder, or you know for a fact, you're gonna drop it on some concrete, this ain't the, really phone, the phone that you really wanna get. Right, you don't want a phone that has all of these moving parts. Okay, you want something that's super durable. So I'll reply to that comment later. Okay. Somebody said, okay, well, read, this is how I read all my YouTube comments, you know. Pixel Fold first. Okay. Pixel Fold, we doing that. Okay, got some Instagram notifications. This is what it is. Now, if I want to um, reply to something, let's hit reply. Okay. Thanks. Or I could do 
He said, this is a Google phone. I could do my favorite. Let me not do meets. I could do my favorite. I'll call you back later. Matter of fact, I'll text you tomorrow. Send. Oh, now you got to do the send on the texts. I keep forgetting that. All right, but anyway, you see how that voice, the speech to text? Speech to text. Woo! Anyway, speaking of speech to text, that's my work segment of the day. Let's do a little speech to text. Okay. I'm going to do something right now. Thanks for sending me the bill. I'm going to pay it when I get when I get a chance. Send. Boom. This is how I do it. Watch this one. Hold on, hold on. Watch this. By the way, oh, my wrong one. By the way, y'all a bunch of fucking banana heads because y'all keep calling me on my days off. I told you, only call me when I'm at work. Exclamation mark. Send. Mm. Got a bunch of banana heads. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. So this is one thing I love about the Google phones. Uh, now I can, I can exit out of that. And of course, with Google, you know you're going to have the magic eraser. So let's do, let's do a quick magic eraser. Now say I had a dope a dope photo like this, right? Say this was something like some contraband, maybe a blunt or something, something stupid. And I take a little photo, right? And I want to get that. Matter of fact, I'll do another one. And the photo came out dope, but I want to get that out of the way. I, what, why did I why did I leave the blunt on the table? Now the thing or whatever I, I got to do is gone. We can just go to edit. Okay, we're going to go to tools, magic eraser. Okay, now this is part of the Google um, software, so you got to take advantage of it. Erase that blunt out of the photo. Let it process, and there it is. That's pretty dope. Not to mention, you got all other Google stuff like the spam rejection. You make a phone call, the Google will be on hold for you, so you don't have to have the phone by your ear. It's a lot of cool features that come with getting the Pixel, and you're going to enjoy those with this phone. Okay, now remember, this is the RDA test, regular daily activities, no editing. Okay, so here's all my home pages. Next, let's take it over to Twitter. All right, so let's go to mentions and see what's going down. Now, if I want to get the full screen activity like this. Okay, my top five cell phone review people. Okay, somebody put me in the list. I appreciate that. Thanks, Jamie. Shout out to Jamie. Put me in the top five. Okay. With my boy, Technically T. That's one of my guys, too. All right, let's see. We got uh, people in a funny bubble when they think their opinion matters despite having nothing to... Yeah, okay, look, I replied. This was um, <laughs> Michael Fisher. He said, social media theory. Any reply beginning with you should just or why don't you just has an 85% likelihood of ending with a statement of no value or missing a point entirely. And I said more like 95%. Because when somebody says you should just... I automatically be like, okay. In my mind, I'm like, you should just go eat a dick. All right, how about that? Unless it's one of my friends that say, oh, you should just make a video doing this and that. Then I take that with a grain of salt. But when it's a, when it's a banana head, I, I immediately, I immediately discard that. All right, let's see. The Coreware ads. I got somebody blowing me up for the Coreware ads, bro. That what video was that? I think that was um whatever video I got. The Coreware ads. I'm not even gonna put myself on blast because I'll probably get something during this video. Okay, somebody said they uh, just DM'd me. All right, I'll check that in later. Let's see, Wi-Fi only is looking for a flip four. All right, let me go ahead and like, like that so I can come back. Okay, big phone, small package. Ladies, you know the procedures. This is true. Okay, now let's see. What is this? 50th anniversary, Hen Hennessy limited bottle. Now, I might have to do a, do a taste test video on this one, but when I drink Hennessy, I'm getting canceled for sure. All right, for sure. Now, check this out. I'm using Twitter like this. But at any moment, I could fold this up all right, and be on my outer display and get in the same quality experience. Now, my vision is already going, but I could still see this perfectly fine. Okay. get your, Let's see. What, 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 what's going to be a movie? Okay. The Pixel Fold. All right. Shout out to my man Viper. Patiently waiting on that Pixel Fold video. All right. So, this is my man Viper shooting now. Now, I could I should have just, um, I should have used my um, text-to-speech. But um, it is what it is. All right, shooting now. Bang, that's how he replied. This is just me on Twitter. And if at any moment, like I said, split screen multitasking, text messages at the same time. Okay, text messages and Twitter. Open the phone. Straight to the splits. 
<laughs> straight to the splits. All right, anyway, let's exit out of that. All right, so that's how your Twitter's going to look. Let's see, did I miss anything? Let's see, um, have you sold the Zen phone yet? Oh, no, I, I, now, anybody asking I do? Let, let's try it like this. Not yet. Send me an email. Bang. So anybody want to buy any phones from me? I still got the Asus. I still got a bunch of other phones. Send me an email. Okay, random question. Looking to upgrade the Samsung Airbus. Okay, we'll get back to this. Ooh, somebody got the ice cold melon Ciroc. Let's go. All right, anyway, so here's how your Twitter's going to look. Now, no floating windows. All right, I wish I would have had the floating windows, but, you know, it's that stock pixel experience. All right, so I said Twitter's going to look. I am on threads now. I don't really be. Yo, you see how fast threads blew up, and then now it's kind of blowing down just that fast. Okay, so now when you want to get the full angle, here's threads. Okay. Oh, ooh, these look fire right here. These look fire. Let me get in like those. Okay, so threads. I'm not even really big on the threads. I just got it because I had to jump on the wave, but it is what it is. Here's how your thread's going to look. Here's how your thread's going to look. Okay, so we'll get out of that. Next, let's take it over to TikTok. Okay, now TikTok looks great in this orientation because you get you still got all your everything is nice and clear. Okay, let's see. Let's scroll through it. Okay, honey, okay, okay, okay. All that jelly, no toast. <laughs> Hey, anyway, I right, shout out to my man Ramsey. Who seen now? <laughs> Who seen training day? Yo, uh, all that jelly, no toast. Okay, this is how your TikTok is gonna look. Let's um, boom, TikTok on the outer display looks even better, even better. Oh look, look at my brother. My brother just started following me on TikTok. Let me follow him back. Look, see, what I'm saying he just started following me on TikTok today. You know, this is one of these. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's how much you know. That's how much your family be supporting you. Yeah, you know, he said, "Oh, let me go ahead and follow my but that had brother real quick." Yeah, all right. So here's how your TikTok is gonna look. Okay, let's see anything going down. Okay, some magic tricks. Got dogs fighting. Okay. Anyway, okay. <laughs> Sorry, this <laughs> caught me off guard. Caught me off. Okay, now what sport is this? Whatever sport this is, I, I, I'm gonna have to get involved with. Okay, that looks like an interesting sport. Who that, Dwayne Johnson out here? Okay. Anyway, now look at these tattoos. Woo, these tattoo artists nowadays. This one is fire right here. That look like Zeus or something for 850 bucks. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Anyway, so this is how your TikTok is gonna look. Okay, you've seen it from the inner and outer display. Now, let's do TikTok. Okay. And Twitter. Now, this is a good combination right here. So you could be on Twitter watching your little TikTok skits while you actually tweeting. Okay? <laughs> yeah, just like that. Or we can exit out of both. Bang, there it is. Okay, let's take it over to Instagram. Okay, now with Instagram, I like to rock like this. Okay, now Adam22. Okay, the the number one herb. I now only old school cats use that word herb. You remember you used to call somebody a herb? This dude is a complete herb. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm sorry, Adam. I don't want I don't want no smoke, but you know, you, you, you out here looking real you out here looking real suspect nowadays on social media. Okay, G Herbal mugshot. <laughs> okay, that's a, that's the mugshot. When you got money, you take mugshots like this here. You clowning you. Okay. Uh paid um, let's see. 1K for a photo. Damn, y'all be thirsty like that, bro. Thirst. The thirst is real. Anyway, so here's how your Instagram is going to look. And again, if I'm scrolling on Instagram, I'll wait till I find something that's interesting. Okay. I'm getting a little scroll, scroll. Oh, okay. Now, say if I start watching this, when I close the display, I'm still watching it. And the Instagram on the outer display just as dope. Okay, now who's this? Flawless Diamonds. NLE got a new joint. Let's see what he got. Okay. Okay, y'all know me. I like uh, Cottonwood. Okay. Flawless Family. Uh, uh, all right, Flawless Diamonds. Oh, let me get in like that. Stop being stingy with the likes. Okay. So again, so this is what I found myself doing the most. Chilling on Instagram like this. Okay, what's this? Some iPhone hacks? Okay. Eh, fucking fake-ass iPhone stuff. Huh. Okay. Okay, 
That looks like a nice little case right there. Anyway, Instagram looking nice and clean today. You know, too many family show moments. All right. But I just want to I just want to show y'all what I'm talking about. So this is what I've been doing all all week long, just scrolling, scrolling, chilling. Matter of fact, if I go home, <laughs> if I go, this is the fact. Let me know. <laughs> Open it up. I why does why do when I go to explore page, this is everything that comes up. Like, what is Instagram trying to say? What is Instagram trying to say that I like? All right. What, what are they trying to say? Anyway, so here's how Instagram is gonna look. Okay, Beats by Dre. Got some new Beats headphones coming out. Okay, now, girls be mad thirsty, man. You open the, open the supermarket like that, thirsty. All right, this is what I like to see. All right, little cute cats. Close it up. Still in the cute cat. Anyway, oh, Melly. Melly is toast. Okay, y'all seen the text message? I did it. Melly is kind of toast. I don't know. He's not looking good for Melly. I can't be saying free Melly because he did it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, you know, I like to say free that guy, but... I think he did it, so I ain't going to, I'm not going to waste a free that guy. Anyway, so here's how your Instagram is going to look. Okay, now, of course, pinch and zoom works. Calvin, what is it? <laughs> One video I said dragging the wagon. Come on, bro. That's OD. That's OD. Anyway, so there's our Instagram. Exit out of that. Now, of course, if I go to YouTube and I'm watching a video, okay, watching the video, throw some sound on this one. Exit out. I still got the picture in picture. Then we'll open this up. Okay. We still got the picture in picture. Close that up. Bond, if I want to listen to some music, take it right over to my YouTube widget. Throw on one of my songs. Yo, what's up? This is Tajay. You know, <laughs> 93 to infinity. And keep it moving. RDA, regular daily activities. No issues at all. And I'm going to take it a step further and say, I love it. Okay. It, it, it's the form factor. I love the form factor of this phone. We could argue about, does this have the best camera? Because personally, I think the camera on the Vivo is, you know, it's more my style, but the pixel is the point and shoot. The Vivo, I have to tweak the settings a little bit. Same thing with the Galaxy. The Galaxy, I could point and shoot, but every now and then I like to tweak my settings a little bit and make my skin look a little lighter. But with the pixel, okay, again, these are straight pixel photos right here. This is a pixel photo. This is a pixel photo. This is a pixel photo. This is one of my favorites. Look at that. Camera on this phone, form factor. Again, the biggest gripe for this phone would be the price. Okay, Google, I understand. Oh, God, don't, don't, chill. Don't, 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 don't do me like that. I understand this is your first... Uh, attempt into the foldable device game, but the foldable device has been out for years already. Okay, so you're not doing anything new by bringing out this phone. You have no business charging 1800 bucks on this phone. Now, Google, I'm talking to you as a friend because, you know, look, a lot of times I'm hard on Google, I'm hard on Samsung, I'm hard on Apple. Those are three companies that I love. So I'm hard on them when I do my reviews. So Google, I gotta be hard on y'all with this one. Drop the fucking price. 800 yo look, put it like this i would say you need to drop the price to this to 1200 bucks if you want these to fly off the shelf 1200 bucks for 256 gigs of storage these will disappear okay 1800 bucks is just way too much competition for y'all to be charging them numbers okay so google please okay please drop the price bring us a little upgrades with the camera now look if y'all gonna do a fold two I'm saying it right now. If y'all gonna do a fold two, whatever cameras on the top of the line pixel phone, pixel phone, all right, whatever cameras on the top of the line pixel, whatever camera you got on the Pixel 8 Pro, put that on the fold two, okay? Whatever battery you got on the 8 Pro, put that on the fold two. We need a better face unlock, okay? Give us some more customization. Listen to the fans. Everybody don't want the Google bar on the bottom. Let us customize the OS a little bit more. And keep the price, I, I keep the price on this planet. Right now, this price is off the planet. Bring the price back down to planet Earth, and you're gonna sell some Pixel Folds. Anyway, this is my Pixel Fold real review. Hit me up in the comments and let me know if there's anything that I missed that y'all want me to talk about. I, like I said, I'm gonna start doing update videos. I'll do an update video with this maybe after about a month, something quick, maybe a little five minute video, five, 10 minute video. But I'll answer any questions that I forgot to um, cover in this video. And as far as what's coming up next this week, 
I'm doing a special request video. A lot of people asked me to get the clip speakers. So I got the clips, the gig, and the gig XL. We got the nothing phone, full review. Beats, I Beats got some new headphones. We're dropping those. Sony got new products coming out. And um, what else? And I'll do some more. Oh, um, a lot of people asked me to do the anchor, the anchor headphones, the NCs. We're going to do those. So we got five confirmed videos for this week. And then for the weekend, I'm going to have a little drink. And we're going to play some Super Mario Brothers and some old school games. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream games is on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys in life. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and pitch your vote. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Hey guys, Jerry Springer here. Uh, subscribe to Flossie Carter for the real reviews. Uh, he has a tech channel on YouTube, and he already has over 2 million subscribers, so uh, give him a look. Uh, you may like it, and it could be very useful. Take care of yourself and each other. <laughs>